Welcome to Indie Resource Video 5 on how to make a browser based MORG. This is Halls of Valhalla. This time we're going to make a login page. I'm going to run through this quick because I just did this video and I was like 30 seconds over and so I'm having to redo this video. But this is a real simple process. I had this is kind of our next step is to go ahead and get it to where the players can log in and actually have different players being able to battle. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and make sure your WAMP, start, WAMP server started, start, and then go to WAMP server. Make sure it's up. Next thing is go to your context, open up a new page, and save it as login.php. Save it in your tutorial file. First thing on login is we want our login to basically just say username, password, and submit button. So we do a form method uh, equals post. Now remember there was a get and a post method. Our post is our well, get method actually uses the URL to pass variables. The post is not, so post is a lot more protected and, and, and better used when it comes to username and passwords. Action equals authenticate.php. That's the page that we're going to send these variables to. If you notice, I have no PHP open. All this is an HTML page. Username and text, that means we're asking for a username. We want a text box. So we're going to do input type text. Name equals player. That's the variable it's going to pass. Whatever they type in is going to equal player. Size is equals 21. Uh, for their text box. That's how many characters. Password, same thing. Type is password. Name is password. Size is 21. It, we haven't MD5 encrypted it yet, so it's going to be the normal size password. Mask equals X. Basically what we're doing with here and here is saying it, to put the, the, the dots instead of the actual password so it's protected. People looking over the shoulder, whatever. I did a break line to put the input box or the submit box below. For our submit box, we've got input type submit, which says it's submit button. Value equals login, that's what it says on the button, and name equals submit. If you go, want to go ahead and save that and test it, we'll go up here, type in localhost slash tutorial slash login.php. And there it is, we have our username, password, and login. If you want your password down here, just put a break after there, and I'll show you where to put it. We put our break right here after the username, and that'll drop that uh, password down. Anyway, the next thing we want to do is save that and then make a new file and call it authenticate.php. <coughs> we, we are going to use PHP, so open up your PHP. We're going to change our include to include once. That way, if includes already been included somewhere, it's not going to do it again. We're not When you have 100 people logging in, that can make a big difference. Uh, so include once connect.php. We're going to do a session start. This is going to be a browser session that's going to save your your username into this session. We'll kind of go in that in a second. If is set post submit. So basically we're back here on login where we made a value or name equals submit. It's saying if they did submit and if that's set then do this. And what we want to do is we want to take that player we want to make a new variable called player and where login made a posted that text box named player it's going to put that in our variable player. So right here let me just do it for player real quick where it says player text that is actually going to put it in that variable same with password keep people from doing mysql injection we're going to do a strip tag on the player so we're saying player equals strip tags player password now in order for your passwords to match your password in your database remember we did the md5 we're going to have to make their password they typed in also md5 so they'll match so that's what we did here password equals our md5 password which is that encryption next thing we want to do is we want to check to see if there's a name so we do a query equals and that's just a variable named query select name and password we don't need the whole the whole thing we don't need the name the hit points the password I mean all we need is name and password we don't need hit points or anything like that experience so all we're doing is select a name and password from players where name equals player and password equals password so it's saying is there anything in the database where these two equal these two variables what they typed in result equals mysql query and it's saying this query or die could not query players something happens you connects wrong whatever it says could not query players result 2 equals the mysql fetch array result so it's saying make turn this into an array so we can use it, each variable uh, if result 2 which is if this right all this right here uh, if something comes up if, if result 2 actually becomes an array if there is a name and a password that equals these two then we're going to start our session of player and it's going to equal actual player so that's what it's doing right here it's creating a new session called player 
The next thing we want to do is we want to print out you logged in successfully. We're going to break the line and do a, you notice how I did a big tag. This just kind of makes it double in size. Uh, we're going to say go ahead and continue and go to battle. We may change that later, but for now that's where we're going to go. And then we're going to end our big. Else, if we don't get a result there, then wrong username or password. And the next thing we want to do before we test this out, I want to go ahead and open up your battle. On your battle, my, in your battle right now, you actually have on your select all from players where name equals player one. That means it doesn't matter who logged in; it's going to constantly pull that. We got to change that. So what we're going to do? Let's go ahead and change our include to include once. We're going to start our session. That means it's saying, "Hey, we need to. We're, we're starting our session. Let's grab that variable. If is set session player. In other words, back here on login where it said, oh well, my bad, back here on authenticate where it said start the session player." We're going to say if that is set, in other words, if they logged in, then variable player equals session player. Else, not logged in. So if somebody just goes in there and types battle.php without trying to log in, you're not going to have a session variable, so it's going to say not logged in. And then the only other thing we're going to check change is select all players where name equals that session variable right there. We're going to do the same thing with attack. Same thing, include once, session start, just pretty much copy and paste that in there, and then we're just going to change that to player. That way, it's always going to pull the player's information that the session is logged in. As soon as they exit their browser, their session's over, they have to re-log in again. Uh, let's, so let's go ahead and test this out. And I know I kind of rushed through it, but there's not a lot to log in. It really is pretty simple. Now, if you remember, our player our username was player1, our password was player name. Well, let's, let's say that somebody else tries logging in Joe Bob and if your name's Joe Bob I'm sorry I didn't mean to use your name but and let's say they cheater for password log in it's wrong username and password try again so when we hit click the try again it brings us back here player one we're gonna tab it you notice how it's not showing up our password it's because of that mark X and password log in we logged in successfully hit continue there it is it, it, it pulled us it actually pulled the proper information everything we needed <clears throat> you can go to attack now and it's it's still pulling that same same session the session will not be up here it's actually saved in your browser uh, and just like before you can keep doing it real quick while I have a chance I'll show you what happens and the only way to end that session without logging out which we don't have a logout button right now is to actually exit your browser and start again we will do a logout browser next but I just didn't have enough time in this video and I get a lovely error because I didn't give it enough time to close uh, so what we're going to do is we're just going to, I'm just going to go to login or go to battle real quick, battle.php, just to show you that if you don't set that session, it's not going to work for you. Go to, let's go to localhost, tutorial, battle.php. And if you notice it says you're not logged in because that session has never been set and then you go to login and it's there. That's it. That's all for logins. Really simple stuff. The next tutorial is going to be within probably in like a day or two. It's going to be experience, leveling up, and there was some really good uh, submissions on the web page that I'd like to get to that we're going to add to this game and continue to build on it.